Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on Arfan Studio. In previous tutorials, we have seen how we could add content to your scene. 3D objects, lights, cameras. Today, we will see how to manipulate this node around the 3D space. It's an essential knowledge when it comes to create an environment. How to move or rotate nodes or to change the size. Let's start by opening an existing scene that contains some nodes. All the 3D attributes of a node can be edited using the inspector window in the transform component. Select a node to display its properties in the inspector. The transform component is made of three vectors, a position, a rotation, and a scale, and each one has three fields. Those three fields represent the three axes of the coordinate system. The x-axis pointing left in red, the y-axis pointing up in green, and the z-axis pointing away from the viewer in blue. In addition to the 3D attributes found in the inspector for the selected node, a visual indication appears in the 3D viewport. This indicator is called a gizmo and has two roles. The first one is to show the node's origin. All the transformation you will apply to the node will be done on this precise point. It means that the position indicated in the inspector corresponds to this point. The gizmo's second role is to provide a 3D tool to edit the three attributes of the node transform. There are three different transformation tools in Studio. You can switch between them by clicking on the icon in the bar at the top of the 3D view. The first one is a translation tool and allows you to set the node's position. The second one is the rotation tools and allows you to change the node's rotation. The last one is the rescale tool and allows you to change the node's scale. Note that all transformations are relative to the origin of the 3D world. In position 0, 0, 0, without any rotation or scale, except in a particular case that we will talk about later in the tutorial. Keep the transformation tool and try to move the selected node with the gizmo. For example, Hold click on the red arrow and move the object along the x-axis. You can see in the inspector the coordinate value change in real time. If you know exactly what you want to move the node, it's easier to change the position directly from the inspector. Click on the X field for the position and directly set it at 1. The unit for the position is in meter. You can test the translation on the three axes, look at the position value in the inspector and set with more detail suite. You may also notice the little squares in the gizmo. They allow you to translate your node along a plane. The green square will translate along X and Z axis, the blue square along X and Y axis, and the red square along Y and Z axis. The white dot in the middle of the gizmo allows you to move the node around the scene, but in the screen space. Now let's try the rotation tool. Hold click on the red circle to rotate the object along the X axis. Here again, you can see in the inspector the rotation value changed in real time. Don't hesitate to use the inspector to set an exact value and test the rotation along the three different axes. The rotation values are displayed in degrees. This time you can notice a white circle which allows you to rotate your node according to the screen space. The last transform tool is a rescale tool. Click on the red arrow to change the node scale along the x-axis. As for the rotation and the translation, the scale value changed in real time in the inspector. You can notice a white padlock next to the scale label. By default, it's closed and allows you to keep the node proportions when you change the scale through the inspector. The scale change will be reflected on all axes. Unlock it by clicking on it to set different scales on the three axes. This lock system works only when you set the value in the inspector. To get the same effect with the gizmo in the 3D view, you can use the white cube to change the scale at the center of the three arrows. As for the translation, the colored square allows you to change the scale on two axes. All these transformations can be applied according to coordinate systems. When you create a new scene, the default one is in the local space of the node and relative to the transformations applied to it. The second one is in the world space. Contrary to the local space, it will always remain the same rotation. The X Y and Z axis of the world coordinate system won't change. You can see the world axis in the grid and at the bottom left corner of the 3D view. You can switch between these two spaces with the drop down menu at the top of the 3D view. Let's select the local space and see the impact on a node. For example, if you look at the translation tool on a node without rotation modification, the three axes of the local coordinate system will be aligned with those of the world space. Now apply your rotation to the node. The three axes of the local coordinate system will also be rotated. If you change the profile to world space, 
the gizmo will now display axes along the world coordinate system, which are fixed. There are some other basic manipulations you need to know. You can duplicate a node by copying it with Ctrl plus C, then pass with Ctrl plus V. To remove a node, just select it, then press delete. You can select multiple nodes by maintaining Shift on the keyboard. A snapping tool allows you to move nodes by applying integer values. Meter by meter for the translation, degree by degree for the rotation, etc. You can center the implicit perspective view on a selected node with Shift plus A. Or by clicking on View menu in the top bar, then Center on Selection. The last feature that will prove useful while building new scenes is Parenting Nodes. In Studio, you can link a node to another that becomes the parent node. The transformation of the parent node will impact all its children. For example, you have a table model and some items to put on it. If you parent all the item nodes to the table node, you will be able to move all the groups by moving only the table. To parent a node, go to the Explorer window. Hold the left click on the node and drag it to the node you want to become the parent. You can then release when the target node gets framed in yellow. The child node is now grouped with its parent in the hierarchy. Just click on the arrow next to a parent node to display its children. In the inspector window, under the transform component, you may now notice the parent name of a child in the parent file. To unparent nodes, select a child node, hold the left click and drag it a little until the explorer window is framed in yellow. You can then release. So when you parent a node, it's transformed changes. Because the node is no longer in the world space, but in the parent node space. The coordinate will now correspond to the position from the parent node origin and not the world origin. The local coordinate system is also impact. The parent one represents the transformation applied to it, and the child one represents the transformation of the parent plus the transformation of the child. By default, the child node will stay at its place in the 3D world, but sometimes you want to keep the transformation according to the world and apply it to the parent. For example, this node is 1 meter of world origin. I want to parent it to the chair but keep it to 1 meter of the parent. For that, just press down the ALT key at the same time you parent an object. This is the end of this tutorial. You now have all the end social skills to organize your 3D scenes and start creating your environments. In the next tutorials, we will dive deep into a far more complex topic and see lights, animation and materials in details. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and follow us on social media. All links are in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new tutorial.